Hello guys, welcome to KMA's Jams, episode number 40. We made it to the big 4-0. Woohoo! 40, 40, 40, 40. And what we are doing today is we're going to do some more work on the building that is going to eventually house these beautiful things that we used to call testificates. That is right. These beautiful testificates. <laughs> um, are gonna have a home and it's yeah, so right, get away and w the home is not gonna be in this R2D2 place of epicness I haven't figured out what I wanted to do with R2D2 um, maybe it will be a brilliant place to breed the villagers still and still house them and once I get them good we bring them to the green villager dragon in or the green dragon villager in but let me go show you i've done a little bit more work to the um in and um mostly aesthetics and not so much planned on what i'm gonna do with these guys so let me show you that give me one minute all right so we're just flying around look the moon let's go back down to my place of work <laughs> my fun place of work and take a look at the work that I have done on my green dragon villager N. so we can go and take a corner and we can actually ouch stop up here um, as you see this is where I keep my villagers now and you can actually walk over I added some trees I added some flowers let me get back into the normal view I added some flowers I've beauty fried it I've added a chimney and as you see um, well you can't see from here uh, you can see a little optifine artifact that you're not supposed to see right there where there's a little fire and smoke comes out of the chimney then with these chimneys I just added the the cobweb things because there's multiple chimneys in this building and um, let's see if I can do this yes let's get over here um, I've added some custom trees well this isn't really custom it's just basically I grew a tall tree and then added some extra leaves to it did that over here and over there um, and I made a huge tree over here and it was just so huge and I needed to make it look better so I gave it a four I added three more uh, stumps to it to make it a huge ass um, oak tree and added a whole bunch of flowers to the outside because you know you gotta have flowers and and uh, bushes to make it look better some grass <clears throat> this was going to be a fountain area but i decided against it because there wasn't a real fountain there i it's, the water was over here i had to fill it in and kind of made the path around here it's kind of a place to eat i guess i don't know i'm gonna probably stick tr uh, chairs and stuff on here uh then we got the the main chimney there you can see the smoke kind of going up there um, I burnt down my building a couple of times trying to find the exact place I can <laughs> put the fire um, and it just beautified the whole place up and at the end I thought it would be great to add a little hobbit hole which um, will actually be a working hobbit hole but right now it is just where's my axe you've got my axe Frodo into my sword. So yeah, there, there's nothing there other than the hill. Um, and I added trees back there because I was really worried um, because I kind of squished this whole area together a little too much. I need to add a couple of big flowers there. I don't have anything in my inventory right now. Um, let's see. Because back up here there was this path and I kind of wanted to because up here all you saw was roof and I kind of wanted to change that so I added some 
trees and I think I'll add some benches and other some other stuff and back here coming out of here it was just like ah roof 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 so I gotta figure out exactly how I wanna make the roof um, not stick around and I, I always get worried when I hear the burning of the flames in there so um, I've done some work to the outside so we gotta really uh, amp up what we're gonna do on the inside I measured some things out and I made some places for things um, don't even know why I made this little area this small because when I initially started building this area I wanted to make it an exact replica of the Green Dragon Inn and this is actually only a six foot wide area so I'm um, I might widen it up I might just close it off and make it like a little private room there's gonna be a greeter here uh, for when you're coming in I might I might put a mob in there I'm not too sure <clears throat> there's gonna be a way <clears throat> excuse me a way to walk outside here I would put doors here but um, there's villager activity all around there's gonna be a I don't know if this is gonna be a way outside maybe I'll just stick a window there but this will be definitely a way outside to the little alley the hidden alleyway and I'm gonna have a pathway that goes through the mountain there to the other side where my farms are and then there's gonna be tables set up you know like a restaurant in this area then in this back area I'm gonna put the villagers um, don't know if I'm gonna put them up against this wall but I'm definitely gonna put them up against that wall and that wall and probably these two walls so I can have all the villagers and I'll probably just end up putting storage chests and stuff down here so I can get things done um, I also added a little bit of this I think it might need to come down a couple of more blocks because it is a little high right now and this is the other side of the chimney um, from the outside that has the, the smoke coming out of the top so I guess what I we are gonna be doing is figure out where I'm gonna place the villagers and then I'm gonna build in the inside um, that's part of a chimney I just don't know if I should hide that or not um, so the villagers are gonna be lined up against this wall and I'm gonna figure out how and <clears throat> The design I'm gonna do that with so I'm gonna work on that a little bit and uh, figure out what type of design if I'm gonna add wood floors or what I'm actually gonna do on the inside here I'm guessing it's gonna be all wood floors I'm gonna take some looks at the real there's an actual green dragon in where they filmed the Lord of the Rings and I'm gonna take a look at some of those inside shots and get some ideas of what they did with the building and just kind of do my best to recreate the feel of it. I'm not going to be able to recreate the actual building, but the feel of it would be nice. And maybe even have villagers up here, depending on how many villagers I actually want to keep. But I do want to keep at least 20 or 30 villagers in here. So I don't know how much room it's going to take. So I'm going to have to figure all that out. And uh, so. Let me do that and I'll show you what's going on and I'll tell you how the setup's going to be. So let me show you what I did over here at the Green Dragon Villager Inn. Didn't I just see a... Ah, I did. Come here. Ah, you don't have to come here. Um. Oh, I thought something was on fire there. I didn't do any changes to the outside because the outside was pretty much pretty good I mean there's a couple of things I could tweak about it um, there needs to be some stuff like right here there it's a little too bland um, the roof needs I don't know what I'm gonna do about the roof it needs to be spiced up a little bit it needs a little moustache on the roof so it looks better I'm trying to make this work up there um, but most of it's covered by a tree so I'm not too worried about it I might throw some glass in there and just have like an upper view but I did the floors here um, oh I gotta figure out what I want to do in there but it's basically I lined the whole thing with this dark oak I also added some tables and chairs but I, I on the floor I made kind of this design on this section that goes towards the front entrance 
Then around this fireplace, I kind of made this weird um, square inside a square type feel. I brought this down another couple of notches and I want to um, do something, add something to this, maybe a grate around this so I don't walk into the fire. But even if I'm standing in the fire, as you see, I don't really get hurt, so it's not a big deal. I mean, I haven't lost a half a heart yet, and I was just on fire for a bunch of ticks there. So, it's not always nice to have fire protection for on something that you own. I decided to add some, you know, little drinking spots. I should add a bar with stools. That would have been a great place for it, but maybe I'll do that here. Um, <clears throat> I think in the actual green dragon itself, the bar was here. This was the big dining area. But I'm, like I say, I'm not going to stay to the insides of the green dragon like it was because I'm going to be doing some villager stuff. So, um, there's going to be some more stuff added here. There's too much open space here, a little bit maybe here. I may move things around, but basically, um, these are pistons. There's a redstone torch underneath it and also a light underneath the torch. So it lights up a little bit in the area because ultimately I want to get rid of these torches. Um, don't know if I'm going to add a ceiling to this, but I kind of like the way the ceiling looks already, so I might just leave it how it is. Um, maybe adding, um, support beams across here with the, um, what is this, acacia wood logs, then adding supports going to the ceiling, but I don't know really how I'm going to do that yet. Um. Over here, it almost looks like a checkerboard pattern, but basically, I continued with this cross patch, then added a birch version of it next to it, then added the oak version, then added the birch, and back to the dark oak, and repeated that, and kind of made this feeling over here. And down here, I had a different um, style of floor, and this is going to be the villager area. Um, so the villagers are probably going to be lined up all along this wall in here and there's going to be booths probably um i don't know if i'm going to do just fences across here with a row of um wood like this you know and the fences down here and i may just keep the villagers in mine carts so i can have a villager per block because if i take them out of the mine carts and I have to put fences in each one. So um, the more villagers I have in here, the better for me to work with. Um, maybe I should raise this to another height because uh, that doesn't look too good like that. Maybe I'll even um, use acacia, acacia logs here. But if I do this, well, if they're in the minecarts, they're not going to escape. So, but... Um, zombies and stuff would be able to come over so maybe I can throw some fences up here so the way I'm gonna hold the villagers is kind of up in the air right now so we will work on that um, before the next segment and figure out exactly what I'm gonna do but um I'm kind of hoping you like the design so far of the area so I'm gonna do some more work with it and uh, kind of show you the finished product, I guess, of the inside of this end. There's a lot of things I want to do to spice it up because it is still a little open. It's a big area to fill up, but I think the first thing I need to do is get my villager placement in uh, order here before I go and put all the chairs and stuff I want over in this section because I guess there's going to be stuff over here too. Somehow I'm also going to have to have uh, a chest area placed with a whole bunch of chests so I can have the stuff to trade with the villagers to begin with. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Are you trying to track me, guy? You can't come in here. Wait, let me show you how you can come in here. You come over here, buddy. You can reach me over here. You. You. So, you. <laughs> um, so that's basically what I'm going to do. And I will be back in a second to make this all better. 
So first off, um, I think this table was here. Um, I did try to make the, you've seen the armor stand fireplace trick or campfire trick. I was going to do that here, but then I realized that, um, I guess in 1.10 or maybe even 1.9, if you do the armor stand thing and you light it on fire, that they will take off and explode and go nowhere. So I'm stuck with the good old fireplace with the nether rack underneath it. But I did put this here just so you can't jump in here and get burned. Um, except for, you know, I play with auto jump on because I figure every time you turn on Minecraft, <laughs> that was a hard word to say, Minecraft, um, it, it's, you know, the auto jump is automatically there. So I might as well get just used to it. So I've been playing with it. I've been putting some, um, the iron grill here also to make this look a little bit better. And I guess I could put a couple more on there. I probably have a bunch in the chest. Let me go do that real quick. And I'll show you the main, um, do I, oh, I must have emptied them into a different chest. Eh, screw it. I'll do that another time. I might put, um, a thing coming down on the edges here also, but it's not a big deal. We'll see what I actually do. I added another table. Um, this one's a little bit long. I should probably break it in two. I just kind of put these flowers in just for now, just for giggles. And I'll change these out with the flowers I want when I get this place decorated. Because this place is uh, still got a long way to go decoration-wise. This is probably a dark spot. And this looks like a dark spot. <clears throat> so it's still a work in progress. It's not going to be done in this episode. But um, let me show you my setup here that I'm going to do with the villagers and where I'm going to place them. I've chosen the way I'm going to hold them in. Basically, I'm going to just put, put them in rail carts, stick them in each one of these slots here inside the rail carts so I can have them right next to each other the whole way down this wall. I'm going to put a fence and probably a <clears throat> uh, carpet on top of that fence so um the baby zombies can't get in here and probably put a wood roof or something over them just to make sure they're safe because if my mending villager ends up being come uh, becoming a zombie i will be kind of upset just a little so um <clears throat> we gotta make sure that doesn't happen so this is the setup i'm gonna use I'm going to put my Protection 4 guy there, Fire Protection 4 guy there, Blast Protection 4, Projectile Protection 4, Fire Feather 4, and Fire Feather, Feather Falling, Respiration 3, Aqua, Thorn, Step Strider, Frost, Sharpness, Might, Bane, Knock, Fire, Looting, Efficiency, Silk Touch, Unbreaking, Fortune, F Power 5, Punch, Flame, Infinity, Luck of the Sea, Lore 3, and Mending. These are all the... Um, <clears throat> Librarian villagers, the white coat ones that I'm going to put in here. Now you can trade with books. Um, I, I'm seeing the creeper in here is kind of making me nervous. I thought this was mostly lit up, but I guess it isn't. So I'm just going to make sure until it's done. Then once these guys are in, I'm going to dress up this other area. Um, thinking of ways to do storage because over here you will see. I'm going to put my master farmer right here in the corner so maybe i'll extend this wall or put some sort of bookcase here while i have chest with drop hoppers behind them so i can have an unlimited supply of like carrots potatoes and wheat here so i can just stand here and you know go into the chest get a inventory's worth of whatever and just trade with the guy to get the emeralds so i can be over here um, get a put a place where I can store the books. Maybe I can store well, that's too close I'll find a place where I can put a whole chest full of books somewhere So when I can get the emeralds I can just go up oh, I want a book grab a book and go over here and get whatever I want over there so obviously You have seen That it's nighttime so <laughs> Let me go fix this problem because, you know, I, this place ain't safe and I do not want it blown up. So when I get all the villagers in here, I'm going to decorate the rest of this place up. But I just want to make sure I get the villagers in here, have that all set up. So I don't put a lot of work into decorating this area up, uh, making it look like an inn. Um, 
and figure out what I'm going to do with the storage because I'm going to need a lot of storage in here. And that will be something I will do in the next couple episodes. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to work on the next episode. But also, like I said, I got the a massive farmer here, the massive paper guy, the rotten flesh guy I'm going to stick here. There's the, the armor who sells the chest. I can get the uh, sword from the weaponsmith, the axe from the weaponsmith, I think, and the uh, pickaxe from the weaponsmith, maybe? I don't know. But I already have all these guys, and I have most of these guys down here. And then I'm going to just stick the guy and buy a redstone lapis and glowstone here and ender pearls. They're kind of like secondary. I might try and figure out another guy to stick here just so I can have the whole wall covered. So if you know of a thing I am missing that I can get from a villager um, that is worthy, maybe I'll put the guy you can get the, um, the bottles of enchanting in because, um, like I said, one of the goals of the series is to get a double chest of everything, so I do want a double chest of enchanting. Now, with that said, depending on how long the series goes, when I get these things all filled up, because, um, let's see, where is, like, I, there's a Sharpness 5 guy here. I don't have a Sharpness 5 guy, I do have a Sharpness 4 guy. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to continue, um, breeding these villagers or actually I'm gonna restart it I haven't done the villager breeding which is that thing right there um, for a long time so I may uh, start throwing them food again so they breed so I can get um, you know, the best possible person for each one of these I don't know the exact numbers I'm gonna have to do research but um, it doesn't have to be the best possible, but you know, there's some really good trades And I think the more in a world you trade or you breed villagers and unlock their trades the better the trades get so I think That is the case, but you know, um, I will say this white fire is playing on the afterlife server And he got two mending villagers that are better than my mending villager that took me a couple of hundred villagers to actually find and he found his I don't know how much he did but I doubt he did a couple of hundred to find his two mending villagers and one of the mending villagers is a 10 emerald thing which is effing crazy so I'm gonna um, do my best to get the best versions of villagers in here maybe I'll stream it because I'm gonna, like I keep on saying I plan on streaming I'm just waiting for the right time <laughs> so um yeah, and that's what I'll do is I'll put the bottle, uh, the enchanting guy here. Let's let's just mark him now, uh, just for giggles. En enchant. Well, let's do bottle, bottles of enchanting. Right there, that's what we'll do. So um, before I go, I wanted to fix something out here. Um, it kind of been bugging me a little bit and I don't really do much work on cam which is unfortunate because my recording situation ain't that great so I usually just end up playing Minecraft and recording and showing you what I've done while I played but this tree is a little off it needs something and um, let's see it needs to get some more leaves so let me let me um, do I have, oh good, I do have bone meal on me. Let me grow a tree. Okay, so what does this tree need? It's a little flat over here. So let's make it a little less flat over here. And um, so I'm looking forward to see what happens here. It's probably gonna be a couple of, a cu couple of months maybe before it actually happens. But um, it sounds like it's gonna be fun. And you know, Hopefully in the near future I'll be longing in more UHCs myself because um, the server that I belong to is kind of rebooting sometime soon and they plan on starting to ask other servers and whatever other people to play UHCs on, on this um, site and I'm kind of interested in what's going on. I'm, really hoping that uh, some really good people play with us because I know some of the people I play with or are on the server 
um, have some ties with some people that I would really like to play UHC against and it would be kind of awesome if some of those people um, would play. I don't like that one there. Let's see. So yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not going there because I'm not going to raise expectations of something that's not going to happen. But if something cool happens, I will let you know. And I also, um, to find out if something cool is going to happen and find out when I'm streaming, I'm going to start advertising it instead of doing these shadow streams that I tend to do a lot of times. Sorry about that, but I, you know, I ain't, ain't I ain't so comfortable with the streaming, so I tend to just stream without letting people know. Oh. Mm. So, um, yeah, most of the streams haven't been announced, but from now on, I have it set up, so if I stream, uh, a notice will go to my Twitter. So if you want to see uh, some streams from me, uh, follow me on Twitter. KMA's Corner is my thingy on Twitter. It is my thingy on YouTube, because obviously you see me here right now. And um, it's actually my thing on... <clears throat> It's my thing on uh, Facebook, too, but I don't actually post anything on Facebook. I just have everything directed to Facebook because Facebook is a big time sucker, and I don't want my time to be sucked away. <laughs> Give me some of this dirt back. Um, trying to make this tree look a little... I don't need gunpowder. Let's see... It's so hard for me, especially when I'm trying to get double chests of everything to throw anything away. Even gunpowder. But I already have a couple of double chests full of gunpowder, so it doesn't really matter. But I do need to make TNT with it. A double chest of TNT. Where is my freaking leaves? Leaves, it is. So I'm just trying to... Yeah, I got it. Double click. I'm trying to make this tree look a little better. Um... I'm not really great at doing this stuff, but why not? So, what does this tree need? There's, let's take a look from far away to... Oh, this... I guess I already am recording a little bit long in this session. I don't want to record for more than like five or six minutes. And it's... I already slept once and it's getting night. So, we're going to wrap this up pretty quick. But one thing I wanted to try... Um, let's see. This tree needs, uh, this would be a perfect spot for it. Let's move this guy away and put him there. I'm gonna put that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. And, should I bring, I should bring it down one more. Alright, so, we need to, I made a day, by the way. Um, we need to add these three blocks right here. Let's see if it's going to be low enough. That is a little too high. So I am going to... Well, let's, we'll see. Shovels and wood don't mix. Let's see if it looks any better. If I do this... Boing! Oh, boing! Oh, boy. Can I get down there? <laughs> Do you do this too when you're trying to sneak to something? You kind of lower your head. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I need to put a leaf up there. Oops. Oops. Come on. There we go. Yes. So we got our um, little swing. I might as well get rid of this. This is the one of the very first crafting tables I put on this world and I've been regretting to take it down but there we go so our tree has a swing so if you guys ever you know on my 50th episode and I release the world download of this world you can thank me because now you have a swing what else do you want in Minecraft, right? You've got to swing on your tree swing. So, basically, that is it for me today. Um, sorry the episodes haven't been as straightforward and 
hmm, as good or regular as they were. I was going through some difficulties, but I'm still working my way out of it. And I think the episodes will get better. So if you think there's something I need to do to make this better, um, let me know. I'm thinking over here, I'm going to put some sort of fire pit. I'm going to put like wheelbarrows and stuff like that over here and just fill in this area just like I did over here. And I'll probably do that off camera before the next episode. I have no idea if in the next episode I'm going to continue working on this or if I'm going to work on something completely different. But um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. Episode number 40. 40 same decade as my age. I will let you know when I actually hit my age. Yes, I am really that old. I am the old fart in the neighborhood. Just stay away because my deep ends are stinky. Have a great day. It's Keith. Lots of new stuff coming in the future, so keep an eye out for it. Goodbye.